Welcome everyone. Uh, today we want to talk about why your spells don't work. So for example, if you're casting a spell or um, if you're performing any type of ritual for yourself or others, why it doesn't work. So I have two piles. Uh, choose the one you like or you can just see what's going to come from both of them. And let's find out why the spells that you do don't work. I'm going to start with this one. Okay, I got four of mages. So this card tells me that the reason that your spells are not working, regardless if you do it for others or for yourself, it's because you truly don't know who you are. Four, to me, represents the connection to your higher self, to nature, to magic, to your power. So if this card comes up, uh, comes up like for this question, if you see, this card talks a lot about um, Kabbalah, ancient mysteries, occult. We have working with demons, protection symbols, a lot of uh, science like this. Mm, like science of occult and mysteries. So it means you have to master yourself first in order to see the results. It means if you try in any kind of rituals or spells, they are not yours. They don't belong to you. You're choosing the wrong materials. You're choosing the wrong spells. Uh, sometimes, you know, spell work, uh, it's not about the spell itself. It's about you. It's your energy that you set out in motion. It's your manifestation skills. It's your, actually, it's your abilities and powers. Uh, even... Like a lot of people actually born witch or mage, uh, they think they can cast spells, but they don't believe in themselves. So maybe in your case scenario, if you know that you're a witch or a mage, or you know that you come from this really supernatural uh, background, it's like your ancestors are doing like spells and magic and shamanic work, so you think it should work. But if you don't know who you are, if you're not connected to yourself, if you're not connected to your power, like regardless of what you do it's not gonna work maybe maybe you really should believe in yourself more maybe you should trust your powers more but to me if you chose this pile it means you don't know what you're capable of you don't know how to manifest things because you don't believe because you never seen the results or because you don't think that you have the ability to change the future. The outcome of your spell might be so like powerful, but you don't believe in that. But I see that you have potential. This card actually shows me that it's all in you. And just confirmation card, uh, five of Shekinah reversed. You can even do it professionally. You can charge money, uh, even if you're going to do spell work for people. In theory, it should work. It should be really like powerful, but again, it's reversed. You're not ready yet. You have to do some more work. You have to maybe practice more spells. You have to actually tap into your magic, tap into your abilities more, and just practice. Practice, busy your hands, and see what comes. Usually, time will help. With time, a lot of things going to come to you, so don't worry But if you want to see results of your work, a cult should become your life. You should practice it every day. The moment you like stop for a few weeks or a few months, you lose it. The power is gone because you disconnected. You put your energy into this 3D realm and the energy is drained. And uh, you have to gain more energy and more power and more work should be done in order to connect to yourself. Also, in your case... It helps a lot to figure out what your powers are because sometimes born witch can do any type of spell work or magical work because maybe your powers lie in a, in a healing realm like maybe you just should heal people or maybe you should practice shamanism so by trying to do spells maybe it's not your domain you literally have to figure out your powers and your gifts 
let's move on to pile number two this is the one and let's see what's there why the spells you cast don't work for you <laughs> interesting again reversed uh, judgment so to me this card represents this inner drama inner work that's happening in you in your mind in your heart uh, it's like I feel like in your case you might even have this beautiful gorgeous re uh, like altar or uh, ritual space everything is perfect you have the statues you have the candles you have the potions you have the herbs you have all the tools and in theory it should work but it doesn't because you concentrate only on the like on the outside you don't concentrate on the magic itself you know that most powerful witches out there the most scary ones that like for example people scared of the gypsy witch do you know that they can like hex you or cast a spell on you just on the street by saying something into your back like just like like literally a few words and then you have this powerful curse on you they don't have uh, altars they don't set up like beautiful uh, spaces nothing like that just because they simply know the power of the spoken word and the power of their magic the power of their mind and the power of their manifestation they are so connected with nature because in ancient times they moved so much they were like vagabonds and travelers there is no way they have like beautiful setup for them the power is within so stop concentrating on the beauty aspect of the ritual stop, stop concentrating on tiny things and concentrate on your power that you have having this card the judgment card major arcana card and the 20th card in the major arcana so it's it means you're so close just literally you have to look inward you have to look within you have to seek within like the outside everything is perfect you just need to add just the real power the fire and I feel after that everything gonna work this is my confirmation ace of mages so it means you're so close one step and you're there and it's gonna work this card for me represents the power of palm tree like you can read any person from the palm and I really do believe that we have all our gifts written in the palms so it means if you chose this pile, it means you are gifted. You probably have so many signs of mage and witches and like the demonic powers in you. It's all in your palms. It's, it means it's all in your hand. So you don't need to concentrate on anything else. You have to concentrate on yourself. Maybe like the same for pile number one. Just believe in yourself more. Believe that the power is within you. You don't need anything. You just have to believe that you can do everything yourself. Also, maybe, um, you know, sometimes it helps a lot if you, if you set up this altar, for example, because it's the sacred space for you. This is the time when you set up the altar and uh, even buying the candles for the ritual, even buying something, it's it's like meditation. You go into this meditative, meditative state of mind when you concentrate your energy on... Uh, the ritual aspect of the magic and if this is important for you and if it's already there this is amazing so maybe concentrate on the on the words on the spell itself uh, we can find a lot of spells um, online for free so I recommend for you to write your own spell or buy your spell because you know sometimes when you uh, get something for free you don't value it so for you you don't seem it as um, like something important when you spend money on a spell even if it's like 99 cents one dollar it doesn't matter it's just when you give something in return it's like it becomes like a deal with the universe that you're ready this is serious this is your job this is your work and you're ready to do that so make sure that you give your full attention to the word spoken and uh, to the spell itself and when you have the spell that you really connect to put your all mind all your power believe it your all 
be wholehearted. This is the spell that's gonna work. And cast it, and then see what's gonna come. Because literally, you just one step away from becoming powerful magician that you are. Because Ace of Mages, it means magic is already in you. It's active, it's there. You just have to grab it. It's like it's there, you have to feel it. You have to feel it. You have to feel this power within that you have it, and it's gonna work. Because it's already in, I feel it's working. You just, again, you don't believe enough in it. <laughs>